Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone. Welcome to GFX Farhan. Today I bring you another new and exciting tutorial of uh, logo or text integration effect in Houdini. Before starting, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss the beautiful tutorials. So let me show you my final result that I created. So this is my final result. Actually, I added some backgrounds. Which one is beautiful? Please tell me in comment box. Okay, so let's get started. First, I add a geo node, and in geo node, I add a font node. In the font, I write my logo or text. You can also import your geometry or logo or what you want. Then I add poly extrude and extrude it. Then I add an edit node. This is for uh, I actually select only these faces and uh, extrude these. Okay. Then I add a poly bevel and bevel these edges and then add a transform node and up this in y 0.5 value then i add a fuse node but the fuse node is not necessary okay so our text is ready now we need to fracture these for this add a rbd fracture mat rbd material fracture node and connect this if i add exploded view now it's look like this something like this but we needed very little chunks like this small chunks so for this <coughs> use scatter node okay now select this and uh, check input point and drag and drop it here now one thing keep in mind this takes very long time for fracturing so please be careful with these value i use 5000 and connect this to here now it's take sometime maybe 20 minutes so here i pause my video and come back after it completed it takes time only in the first frame after that it is normal welcome back friends so our fracture is ready okay now add rbd bullet solver Change the sub steps to 4 or 3 or 2, what you want. Now I play it. When I play it, all my geometry are falling down, which I don't want. For this, add RBD configure node and here change this to active and click on the active now my all geometry are activated but i need to activate this when my sphere are touching these so for this i use a sphere node this is my sphere of frequency 10 then i add a mountain node to add some noise and connect this to the this then i add a transform node okay in the transform node i add a keyframe and change my uniform scale to zero and in my frame number 10 it start growing to 120 and in i add a keyframe from zero to 120 and 
my uniform scale is 0 to 10 this is my collision geometry okay I translate uh, in x direction 4.1 and then it when it grow then it affects my logo now in RBD configure you check use bound now it's use my sphere for activating okay now let's check it okay now it's working now in bullet rbd bullet solver go into forces and change this to minus 2 and double click and inside i add a pop force in pop force i add 5 in x direction amplitude 3 swirl 2 and the rest are default after that add a file cache node connect it and save it to your disk so i already save it oh, this is my file cache okay now here i want to add a pop network to add some particles when i add only a pop network to this it's change all these into points which i don't want so i want to add particles only on the active particles not on the static so for this i add these nodes connect and pack node to the file cache then add a trails trail node and then add a delete node and in the delete node check enable and change it to delete by expression and in the filter expression type attribute velocity less than 0 0.1 it means that delete the velocity which is less than 0 0.1 now it's pick only the active particles not the whole geometry okay and then after that i added a op network which is here op network and inside the pop network this is my pop source i use scatter on surface and uh, uncheck relax iteration in birth impulse activation one and impulse count 1000 and constant activation zero life expectancy by default 100 simple not complex then i add a pop force in pop force i add 5 in x direction and uh, 0. Point, minus 0. 0.5 in y direction and my amplitude is 5 swirl size 2 and the rest are default after that i add a pop drag and in the pop drag air assist is 1 the rest are default and only in the pop solver i change my time scale to 0 0.75 because i want my particles move little bit slower than the chunks something like this okay it's look like this now now i add a again a file cache node and also 
cached my particles to my disk. Okay, so my particles cache are also ready. Now it's look like this. Now here add a merge node and now it's look like this. After that, I add my smoke like pyrosalver. So, this is my pyrosalver. First of all, I add pyrosource. In pyrosource, my mode is keep input and uh, initialize to smoke then i add a noise then i add noise on the, my density which i explore in detail in my previous tutorial then i add a volume rasterize node in volume rasterize node i in in this node i add this is my particle separation and particle size and in volume rasterize node i add density and temperature and then copy and paste it and in this node i add only my velocity then add a merge node and merge these and then add a pyrosalver and here uh, change this to one when you add your pyrosalver your voxel size is 0 0.1 copy this copy parameter and uh, paste relative reference here so when you change this resolution it's automatically change this in my pyro solver in setup my global steps four also single project advection reflection nothing in sourcing nothing in collision in field my dissipation is 0 0.1 and uh, my buoyancy is 0 0.03 i keep it low because i don't want to go my smoke up so my buoyancy is 0 0.03 this is my disturbance disturbance 3 block base 0 0.2 0 0.55 0 0.5 and max octave 5 then i add a turbulence in turbulence my value is 1 swirl, swirl size 0 0.25 roughness and max octaves 3 And in a advanced tab, I uncheck flames and CD and I check compute min max convert to VDB and use 16 bit floats and also check these. I rendered my result in 3ds max using V-Ray. So I, uh, I simulate this in VDB and then export it to 3ds max and render it. So this is my pyro with smoke. If I add a merge node here. this is my setup 
so our logo disintegration effect is ready change your resolution to high and add a file cache node and cache it now add materials and lightings this is my lightings light 1 light 2 this is my light number 1 light 2 but I don't use these here I add a environment light and an area light skylight my environment light and this is area light I not I not add any textures or any advanced lighting because I rendered this in 3ds max using V-Ray I export this as FBX and uh, import it in 3ds max hope you enjoy this tutorial if you like the video please thumb up subscribe my channel because I keep adding new projects see you in the next video goodbye